Hey, Novato homeowners. The value of your home right now is the highest it's ever been. Kevin McGinnis here with Team McGinnis Realtors at Compass. We hear a lot about inflation these days, and in fact, we don't just hear about it, we're all living it. Whether it's at the gas pump or the grocery store, most of us can feel inflation's effects in our everyday lives. So to tamp down inflation, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates this year and quite possibly more than once. The idea is high, high demand is driving inflation. And when you couple that with some lingering supply chain issues related to COVID, prices have been climbing, not just here, but around the world. By raising rates, borrowing becomes more expensive and that historically decreases demand. If it costs more to borrow, you may hesitate to make that purchase on credit because it's more expensive to borrow. So how does that relate to the housing market? When mortgage interest rates go up, home buyers have less buying power. Let's say you have a 30 year fixed mortgage of a million dollars, not an uncommon sight around here. The median price of a single family home here in Nevada was 1.2 million. So a million dollar mortgage is common. If that mortgage is at 3%, your monthly payment is about $4,216. If rates go to 4%, your monthly payment goes up by $558 a month to $4,774. One small step further, let's say rates go to 4.25, the monthly payment is now $4,919 or about $700 more than 3%. That's real money. And if that happens, one of three things will occur. There will be buyers out there who just don't care. Either they have enough to cover it or their down payment is large enough so their mortgage remains smaller, so they don't feel it as much. Second, there will be some whose buying power is decreased. Instead of that million dollar mortgage, maybe now it's gonna be a $900,000 mortgage. They can't buy as much house, but they're still in the market. Then there's the third group of buyers who just throw up their hands and say, I'm not playing this game. Folks who say paying 4% or so is just too much. So if you're a seller watching this, what do you do? Let's say you want to sell your house, but maybe wait to sell in the summer. If you're able, sell it now, not next month or in late spring, sell now. Buyers also know that rates are rising and they're not waiting. They're buying now. I know that if I'm a listing agent, and I am mostly a listing agent, I'm going to see lots and lots of well-qualified buyers wanting to get in to see that house. So the bottom line is this. If you're considering selling but wanting to wait, you're much better off doing that sooner rather than later. Be sure to like our video and thanks for watching.